Today I'm going to uh, demonstrate a combustion reaction using sodium and, um, and water. Most combustion relationships are um, with hydrocarbons, but this is spontaneous combustion. So we're not using any carbon whatsoever. So the usual products of a combustion relationship is, or a combustion reaction, is CO2 and water. And this is not going to produce any CO2. The question I asked was what gas is being produced? And I found out it was hydrogen gas. And so I'm figuring out where all of the uh, products are coming from. Uh, zoom in, if you will, on the sodium. And you can see the sodium metal is real shiny where that recent cut is. And so I'm just going to use this very small piece of sodium. And my um, uh, the contraption that I'm using is just a regular uh, one liter beaker with an inverted large uh, test tube full of water. Um, so what I'm going to do is most, most of these reactions we have just placed the sodium in the water and let it skitter across the top. But what I want to do is I want to collect any gas produced. So trial and error, I found that if I take a little pincher kind of thing, and you can see how malleable this is, I'm going to like throw this in the water and capture it with the um, test tube. Here we go. Oh, crud. Okay, the sodium is burning in the water and it's displacing the water in the test tube. And that little piece has just about used up all the water in that test tube. And I did get a little of the um, uh, air inside that test tube when I grabbed. But Dalton's rule is saying that I still got plenty of hydrogen in there. Um, I don't know if you can really see it in the camera, but you can see a little cloud in there. That cloud is sodium oxide. So most of the oxygen has been burned up from the water, leaving us, oh, leaving us the hydrogen. Please stop the camera and I'll go get a, a 